Uh, you want to talk about the AT and T and Microsoft thing, Moose? Yeah, that's a bigger deal than people realize. I think so. <clears throat> Huge deal. Um, yeah, let's do it, man. Go ahead, Moose. Um, do you want me to kind of like read off the intro? Yeah, read off the thing and then I'll yeah. All right. AT and T has pegged Microsoft for its five G network core. In and of itself, this is big just because there's only like three or four operators in the U.S. AT&T is, I don't know, when you consider all the connected devices, Moose, it's probably the biggest, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Significant amounts of connected devices. I mean, we're talking about Teslas. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Chevy's. refrigerated uh, refrigerated uh, 18-wheeler you know, containers. Meters. We're talking about ships. We're talking Security. about boats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyways, the this is going to be a completely software-based 5G network core, all based over the cloud, completely remote data center-based operations instead of like, you know, all the operations happening specific on each tower site, right? So that's like a hardware-based network core. This is all going to be software-based on the cloud. Microsoft Azure is the number two cloud provider in the world. AWS, Amazon Web Services, is number one. So AT&T got the number two company. A lot of people are using Amazon. Anyways, interesting tidbit here. AT&T is actually selling software and intellectual properties developed by AT&T. They're selling all of that to Microsoft in this deal. So they're basically saying, here are the resources we've developed. Here's all the patents. Here's all of this. We're selling it to you. You guys do what, you know, further develop it. Oh, and by the way, uh, I believe they're also going to be giving jobs to the AT&T people that were in part of this development. So hundreds of AT&T employees in this segment of the company will go with the project over to Microsoft and Azure. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, this is called Azure for Operators. Goal is to get into almost 60 countries worldwide. They want to serve a lot of different operators in wireless. Uh, man, this this is going to be big time. See, um, this is the biggest news of the week. This this is so big. People are totally like, it's like irrelevant to some people, man, because they don't understand what it was. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be the basis of their operations of the future for wireless. See, let me let me break it down. There was a tweet from AT and T today, or not today, this week, that it told the specific day that this thing is going to launch. Oh, interesting. Did you see that? No. Let me let me see if I can pull it up really quickly for the folks. Um, let me see here. Mm, I think uh, Barry you got says, it? uh Barry says Death Star not in business with innovative innovation stealing AWS. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they went away from Amazon. I don't know, can't blame them. Do you know that that is Amazon's number one revenue stream is AWS? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's their number one and it's not even close. All the goods that they sell on the Amazon website, all those sellers, all that, nothing compared to AWS. Amazing, huh? Mm -hmm. Big time money. Um, even um, one of the SVPs from AT and T, I go, I Elbas, talked about it today about the uh, benefits of the Microsoft deal, but I I can't find the um, the specific day. But what I can tell, what actually, hold on, July sixth. There we go. We're moving our five G mobile network to the Microsoft Cloud, and on July 6th, TNT Drama will televise the match featuring Phil uh, Mickelson uh, and Tom Brady and more. So I'm assuming that the 5G core is officially going to be unveiled um, utilizing that uh, telecast. So we're talking about operations, like it's actually mm -hmm. going to be running. It's out, or maybe it already is running. We don't even know about it, see, man. I mean, I'll it tell you this right the, now. The official transaction or whatever else. I'll tell you this right now. The Apple last time watch. I went to downtown Dallas, I was getting four MS on millimeter wave. Four. Tremendous. So there could be something. Yeah, there could be something going on there. I wish we had more details. We'll we'll find out hopefully very soon. Uh, some of those operations. 